Hello, 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 and happy fucking Wednesday, you guys, and welcome to People Talk Now. I'm your host, Vanessa Herrera, and this is the show where you ask about it, and I talk about it. And let's not forget, you guys, that we are constantly, constantly, it seems, (laughs) trying to change the pace out there in what people call better days. So yes, welcome to episode 44. Good morning, happy rising. I hope that um, you all woke up with you know, grateful hearts, that you woke up with your health today, that everyone in your family is doing good, that you're still continuously working towards your goals, you know, and just um, remaining positive uh, considering what the hell's going on in this world or what's going on in the world or fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> um, anyways, so yes, today I really really wanted to talk about ways to change your life um and the reason why i wanted to talk about ways to change your life is because it's something that i'm constantly getting asked of especially in my in my dms you know people are always like letting me know that they've changed their lives because of things that i've said to them or things that I maybe have posted that maybe resonated with them and so I started really thinking on that and I said you know I really want to step it up a notch and kind of really give more um, ways that you can change your life not just eating and working out being one of them because you and I both know that there's so many other ways that we could change our life And so, based on that, I wanted to get started with today. So, again, changes can be, changes can come in so many ways. It can be a new idea. um, It can be a new decision that you made. It can be a new habit that you decided to take up. But all, all in all, I think it's when you complete the thought process up here and your mind and your body agree and... You basically begin to do it continuously. So, I mean, ultimately, I think that we all want to be the greatest versions of ourselves. And so that I say that with, like, the purest heart because I've had a lot of time this weekend to basically, like, be very conscious with my thoughts, to be very clear-headed and I've had that time to basically reflect and be on my own with my with myself to be able to think on that. So I'm going to go ahead and give you ways that you can change your life. So number one, learn a foreign language. The reason why I say learn a foreign language is because there are many, many reasons to learn a foreign language. So one of them is that it, you know, it can help you when you finally get to do some overseas travel uh, for work or simply it's a good way to challenge your life. Um, and again, the reason why I bring this up as an option, because, you know, I've tried it many times and I've failed miserably. But it does not mean that because I failed at it <laughs> that you will. You feel me? Um, I believe that there's always a way, uh, a change for someone that can help that person that is not necessarily for someone else. And so, like, for me, like, it just didn't work because I've always found myself, like, just um, getting distracted and that was just not the thing for me. So I always found different outlets to challenge myself. Um, And maybe, again, maybe when I get older, I'll get back into it and I might give it another shot, you know? So, yes... Definitely, uh, you know, there is ways for you to get into learning a new language, and that is to um, go to free podcasts. I mean, there's apps nowadays that can teach you uh, new languages, so definitely challenge yourself. Um, Number two, read about a subject that you normally wouldn't read about. So this is a great way to develop a better understanding of the world. And it will also basically make you a more interesting person in the process. 
it's always really good for us, like when we're having conversations for people with people, not for people, if you want, but it's helpful because it always gives you guys something to talk about. And so definitely, you know, step out of your comfort zone. You know, I've been uh, definitely reading different books right now. I'm reading one. I can't tell you guys what it is yet because I definitely plan on um, possibly doing a podcast in the future about it. But I really want to know more about it before I start talking about it. And so, um, yes, but definitely it's a great way to develop a better understanding of the world around you. And so, uh, definitely keep that in mind, you know, read a subject you wouldn't normally read about, um, you know, uh, no nonfiction stuff, just kidding. Um, start a blog. Number three, it's free, it's easy to start blogging, you know, tell the world what's on your mind, uh, develop an idea or track your progress. Basically, the possibilities when you're starting a blog is endless. And just really challenge yourself to um, do something that you normally wouldn't do. And that's those are stepping stones and ways of changing your life. Number four. I don't know why I did the two. We'll edit that out. Bleep. <laughs> Number four. Um, turn off the TV. Turn that motherfucking TV off. <laughs> TV seems to have a passive hypnotic... hypnotic <laughs> effect on people and this is a very this is a worry when you consider that much of it consists of violent crime shows dumbed down sitcoms and brainwashing commercials plus think of everything you could do with all the free time if you stopped or at least cut down on watching tv just think about how valuable your time is and that's already like cutting off turning off the tv taking that time back from your day that's already like you're already winning because that's already a way of taking back your life and changing it so yes number five wake up early so use the extra time from waking up early to read inspirational books um review your goals and envision the life you want for yourself um i definitely have things written down um, in my digital journal and sometimes, you know, I'll write it out on paper, but it's good to have like a vision of things that you want to accomplish. Um, where I see my, where I see my podcast in a year, it's, it's good to have those goals set for yourself because if you don't really know what it is that you're striving for, then it just makes your life a little bland, you know? So definitely, uh, Wake up early. Get a get a good start on the day. I hate to sound cliche, but you know, I heard through the grapevine that the early bird gets the worm, so you feel me? Okay, number six, get fit. You guys are constantly always hearing me talk about this. I don't say this because, you know, I'm getting paid. No one's handing me a motherfucking check, okay? Um, get fit, okay? Because I guarantee you that increased strength, mental clarity, and self-confidence are just some... Of the benefits of improving your physical fitness but you will also live a longer life so number seven tell a loved one how you feel about them okay why wait until it's too late to you tell your loved ones how you feel about them you know a lot of the times uh, you know there's ways that we can change our lives you know maybe there's something that you've said to someone that you know has put um maybe um a damper on you guys's relationship and it's never too late to change your relationship with someone you love um even if there's not any bad friction between you guys just it's never it's never a wrong or a bad time to call someone and say hey you know what even a little message um and say hey thinking about you you know because that's that's already a way of changing your life because you're doing something that you're just not doing anymore or you you, or you got I, I don't even know if there's a word for this but you got you fell out of um 
you fell out of habit, I guess, of doing things like that. So, yes, tell a loved one how you feel about them. Number eight, get married. Um, it's certainly not a necessity to be married, but in this day and age, um, but it's a nice sign of commitment to each other. Um, and I don't mean like go through the whole fucking big church wedding things. I, I understand a lot of people can't get married right now. But there's so many fun ways to still get married and creative ways and spiritual ways to be married, to be tied. Um, bond, bonding love that doesn't necessarily have to cost a fucking fortune. And you sure in the fuck don't need a man-made paper. You feel me? Think. Alright. Nine. End a bad relationship. <sighs> you know, I find myself saying this a lot to people that hit me up about certain relationships that they have. And I just want to say that it can be extremely hard to feel stuck in a bad relationship. But if you can't see a future together, why not cut your losses and move on? It's cliche, but there really are plenty of fish in the sea, people. Okay? We're not... We are not starving of men and women. You feel me? Okay, number 10. Start a budget. A budget is a plan that basically allocates a future income towards expenses, savings, investments, and debt repayment. So they do not have to be rigid and complicated, and there are numerous budgeting software options available online. So if you're a person that basically struggles with budgeting, I would highly suggest that you go online and there's even programs there's people that are willing to help you kind of get back on track if you're a person that just doesn't really know how to budget you know so yeah <laughs> uh number e oops sorry oh number 11 sorry lost track of my template here number 11 become a parent this is this is guaranteed way to change the way you view life when you realize that you will have to care for and be the model to another human being you will truly want to be the best person you can possibly be now i'm not going saying you know go have a baby right now or you know just go get pregnant vanessa did not go say go get pregnant <laughs> or go go get a woman pregnant What I am saying is that when you become a parent, it's it's it changes the way that you view life. So that's another way that your life changes and you realize um, basically every day that you wake up is that you're not only just striving for yourself anymore. It's not just about you anymore. You're striving for for somebody else other than yourself and it's such a different feeling that Versus when you're just on this earth alone and you're just striving for just you. It's crazy, you know? Like, it's like this bond. Unexplainable, really, if you're not a parent. Or maybe you're someone who has nieces and nephews and you feel me. you the real one. Number 12, drink less alcohol. This can improve your physical, mental, and financial health. So, yes, definitely the, the more you can stay away from alcohol, the, be the better it will be for your life. And I guarantee you, your life will probably change for the better because your mind will be more clear. Number 13, declutter your life. Oh, I've had podcasts about this a couple of times. It's easy to become overwhelmed by clutter, you guys. Um... Let me get a little bit closer to you guys. I don't feel like you guys are really hearing me. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's so easy for us to be overwhelmed by clutter in our life, whether it's physical and mental. Declutter your physical surroundings by going through your clothes and other possessions and see what you no longer need and sell them or simply give them away. Mental clutter is things like unfinished projects, a cramped schedule, or negative people who drain our energy. You can clear your mental clutter by listing everything that is troubling you and then crossing each one off as you deal with it, okay? 
Don't overwhelm yourself one step at a time. Okay, number 14. Create a vision board. This is one of the most powerful ways to get the law of attraction to work for you. A vision board is basically a collage of pictures of the goals and dreams you want to attract in your life. Now, I'm sure you guys have heard of vision boards. And um, I don't I don't know if I... I mean, I think I made one a long, long time ago. But, I mean, I don't know what it is. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, it's a good way. Like, if you, if you have the time. Me, personally, at the moment, I got cheering. I don't really have the time for it right now. <laughs> but... It is definitely something that I remember when I did make one, the feeling it would give me whenever I would see everything on it was just like, like, yes, like you see your goals. It just, it's like it penetrates your mind and it's there. And it's constantly there until you like do something about it, you know? Number 15, phone a friend. <laughs> Sometimes the human connection can be lost in emails and instant messaging and text messaging. Why not pick up the phone and talk to your friend? Even better, FaceTime. You feel me? Especially right now during like these quarantine vibes and stuff. <laughs> um, number 16, travel. Now I get it, you know. Can't be traveling all over the place right now because, you know, because this whole pandemic and such. But, I mean, you can travel to the park. Take a walk, you know. There's still a lot of things that we can do that doesn't require you to hop on a plane perhaps or does it that's on you <laughs> number 17 stop lurking there are many benefits to being an active contributor on the internet but lurking is not one of them okay so stop doing that number 18 take up photography um it in it in Interest in photography will change the way you view the world. You begin to really notice the details of your surroundings, appreciate the beauty of the world and the quirks of the everyday life. And I myself, I'm into photography. I mean, you know, I have a couple cameras and every now and then I, you know, I like to just keep practicing and practicing in hopes that I get good enough to, you know, maybe shoot some amazing pictures one day. <laughs> Okay, number 19, eat healthy food. Now, I told you guys this that this particular subject wasn't all of it, but it is some of it. So healthy food nourishes your body and it gives you the energy to get through each day. So um, if you need some ideas, there you can go to 100 Quick and Easy Healthy Foods on the internet and it shows you like all these super easy, quick, healthy recipes that you can make pronto number 20 oh i'm over here moving my camera never eat alone this simple idea is a great way to network without feeling like a desperate glad handler so um you know invite someone to join you for lunch breakfast dinner it's up to you 21 save some of your income so you know don't go out spending all of it, you know? You don't really know what the future brings. Save, save, save. That's a great way to change your life. That way, if you do decide that you want to make a big change, guess what? The chat is there. Just kidding. No money's going to be in your bank account. <laughs> Number 22, improve your memory. So... A good memory is a powerful and valuable asset, so brain games, exercise, reading are just a few of the ways you can keep your memory strong. So um, there is a template online, not a template, gosh, there is an article online that um, shows you 10 ways to keep your memory strong. So I'll try to link that article that I found and it just kind of has helpful tips, you know. Uh, number 23, study. There are endless benefits to both formal and informal study. So some of these include enhancing your career prospects, developing skills and subject knowledge, and personal growth and satisfaction. Number 24, 
start a business. If you want to be a millionaire one day, you may want to consider how to be self-employed. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Start a business. Don't ask me what kind of business, because that right there is your business. On what kind of business you're going to do. 25. Um, write out a short, medium, and long... Write out your short and medium long-term goals. The act of writing down your goals makes them far more likely to happen. How do I know that to be true? Because that's how my podcast started out. It started as like this goal, and then I started writing everything out, how I would do it, and then poof, manifested, and here I am. Number 26, be creative. Now, I know it's hard, but um, we all possess the potential for creative expression. I know a lot of people think that they're not creative, but you are creative, okay? Many of us, however, do not believe we are creative or don't know what outlet we should use to express our creativity. You do not have to paint a picture to be creative. Rather, everyday tasks such as cooking a meal, making a presentation at work, or dressing yourself can be done in a creative manner. So understand that creativity is in you. You just have to see it for what it is, you know? And it most certainly is it's not always going to be you being an artist or you being a singer. That, that's not what a creative means. We create with this and this gives power to these bad boys to move and so without this nobody is creative you feel me so um yeah number 27 ask for a pay raise um you know sometimes you just gotta like talk to the boss and be like oh what's up i'm feeling a little underpaid and i need my life to change but you know if this is you make sure you ask right away um, because, you know, especially if you've been putting in the work and you know you've been that consistent person, that, that, that consistent employee, well, guess what? It's time for a raise. Number 28, strike up a conversation with a stranger. <laughs> so waiting for the bus, standing in a, in a corner or, or traveling in a lift are all great examples of when you can strike a a conversation with a stranger why bother well it's simple it's a simple way to connect with another human being and sometimes a stranger can change your life in any way in, in a way that you can't even possibly even imagine sometimes because it's happened to me there's been times where you know I've just maybe said something and then some random stranger like struck up a conversation and the next thing you know we're just having a full-blown conversation and we changed each other's life somehow like we've triggered something this exchange of energy and it's really beneficial for us to have that human connection so yes number 29 okay get a makeover you feel me are these gla these glasses are part of my makeover can you guys see how much uh my hair is growing i just wanted to have my natural hair for today's podcast and I'm really loving it <laughs> but get a makeover okay don't mind me you guys I act a fool um when you look great you feel great simple really that's it there's nothing more to number 29 just get a makeover you'll feel good and uh, why well, I hit myself so hard <laughs> number 30 take a mini retirement <laughs> like wait what what do you mean a mini I'm trying to take a full-blown real retirement no um and so I don't know if you guys heard of Tim Ferriss, but he abdicates freeing yourself from the daily grind by taking a mini retirement. Basically, this entails traveling to one place for one, for one to six months before going home or moving to another lo location. So, um, so you can find out more about this idea online. There's a there's a there's a a book called the Four Hour the Four Hour Work Week Work week um yeah so 31 invest investing your money is the best way to ensure you meet long-term financial objects such as saving for retirement on your child's education 
Um, so it's fairly easy to start investing and you can begin with as little as a thousand dollars. So invest, invest in yourself, invest in your family. Number 32, learn to dance. I mean, I don't even know how to dance, but I think that was like my shoulder, that was my shoulder shake right now. Um, it will help you meet new people, it will help you stay fit, overcome shyness, and make you feel more comfortable in so social situations. So, you know, you guys are in my so social situations, so I'm just like doing my dance around you guys, get it out of the way, drinking some water. So, yes. Um... Number 33, leave each person you come into contact with better than when you found them. Now, I know a lot of people have trouble with this one, but, you know, if you want to change your life, this is a good way to start. So even something as simple as smile or compliment can make someone else's day, start there, okay? Number 34, review your day each night before going to sleep. So... This one is a great way to track whether or not you are living your life in accordance with your principles and your goals. So, um, this is something that I like to do sometimes. Like when I'm laying down, I reflect back on my day, and I'm just like, "Damn, what a good day!" <laughs> and it may sometimes it's not always like that, but it's still a learning experience because you get to ask yourself that that question. Sometimes we don't like to ask, like, "Damn, how could I have been better?" You know, but don't think about tomorrow. And if you get lucky enough to wake up again, guess what? You have the opportunity to just start all over again. So don't think about it too much. Number 35, find your life's purpose. So Steve Pavlina has written an excellent article on how to discover your life purpose, purpose in about 20 minutes. So yes, uh, I would definitely go check out that article. Um, you never know, there might be some good things in there. Number 36, learn a musical instrument. So, um, it's high up in my list of things to do. So, I'm told that the benefits are that it teaches discipline, it relieves stress, it gives a sense of achievement, it's fun and it makes you look cool. And, well, yeah, some instruments. So, <laughs> learn an instrument. Number 37, be green. Recycling, going carbon neutral, and using public transport are just a few examples of how we can make a difference to the environment. If you haven't already seen it, watch uh, Al Gore's An Inconvenient Truth for Inspiration. Number 38, volunteer. Apart from making a difference in someone else's life and or helping the environment, volunteering will, will improve your life by helping you meet new people and develop new skills, build self-confidence, and feel valued. So volunteer, y'all. Yeah. 39. Don't just be good, be great. Many people settle for being average in life. Don't be one of them. How? Be yourself, but don't settle for just being good. Push yourself beyond the basic little boundaries that there is in this life. <laughs> um, number 40, write a personal mission statement to yourself. So think of this personal mission statement as a solid expression of your vision and your values. That way you can look back at it and not look back at it, but look back at it and just reflect and just be like, okay. And you'll get to see like the progress that you've made, which is always a really beautiful thing when it comes to self-improvement, improving ourselves. So just keep that in mind. Number 41, develop multiple streams of passive income. So passive income is income that does not require your direct involvement. Familiar examples include income from a rental property and royalties from either an invention or creative work. Number 42, donate to charity. 
No matter how much financial trouble you're in, I can guarantee you there are people worse than you. Donating to a good cause helps you make the helps make the world a better place and will make you feel better about yourself. So it's a win-win outcome. And plus I always feel really good whenever I donate my clothes. Like I'll never most of the time, like especially nowadays, not anymore. I mean, I don't know if I ever did. I, there was a time where I used to post my things on my Depop. But now I'm just like, I don't know. Now I just donate my clothes because I just rather someone that really, really needs them uh, take some off my hands, you know? So, yeah. Number 43, do it now. Do it, like, right the fuck now. You feel me? So, what is it? <laughs> this only this is only something you will know. But here's the clue. It is what you keep putting off until tomorrow or next week or next year. So, do it now, okay? You know what it is. You know I know what I I know what I keep putting off, but you know what you keep putting off. So do it now. 44. Become a good public speaker. Whether it is to make a speech at a wedding or an important presentation or in a workplace, the ability to capture the attention of your listeners is an invaluable skill. So just keep that in mind. Number 45. Forgive others for the pain they may have caused you. It's time to um, live and let go, okay? No matter what someone has done to us in the past, if we cannot learn to forgive them, um, then our anger, bitterness, and despair will control our lives. And that's not something you want because that is not the beginning of change. That will not change your life. That will keep your life stagnant, okay? And you don't want that, and I don't want that for you, okay? So, number 46. Got a high-pitched voice there for a second. Um, be passionate. Having a passion for life will provide you with the direction and focus, create energy, foster creativity, and inspire action and heighten performance. Okay. So, yes, be passionate. I know that I try to be passionate about everything I do, whether it's um, fitness, whether it's uh, my family, whether it's cooking... I keep doing this so much. Oh, by the way, I want you guys to meet Tofu. Yes, this is Tofu. It's my new little plant. Oh, okay, number 47. Remember a few jokes. We'll get to the joke of the day, don't you worry. Everyone loves to laugh. I know I do. Um, having a few jokes up to your sleeve... Uh, having a few jokes up your sleeve can help break the ice when you meet new people. So, you know, I'm a little jokester. When you meet me, you know, be prepared for me to be cracking jokes left and right. Left and right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you guys feel the ice crack right now? Did you guys hear it? Okay. Number 48. Find a new job. Okay. Do you feel trapped uh, in a boring soul destroying job it doesn't have to feel like that just fucking find a new job because your life will change the day you realize that you are actually in charge of the way your life is going to go from this day forward we said again from this day forward okay number 49 don't forget to relax okay um reducing stress in your life has the potential to um basically uh has the potential to damage our health and relationships so some ways to relax are by going for a walk uh curling up on the couch and reading a good book, having a warm bath, listening to chilled out music and getting a massage. Um, these are just like simple ways. 
I'm sure you guys have your own ways of relaxing, but don't forget to relax because a lot of us sometimes we forget to relax. And those are, these are ways that you can begin to change your life when you learn how to basically just relax and not take life so seriously and understand to focus on yourself and that you don't have to feel bad about it, you know, because... Sometimes you just have to care about yourself, you know? It's that simple. God, this water's good. And last but not least, spend less time on the computer. So don't let the internet take over your life. I know it is easy for us to get uh, swarmed up by internet life with everything that has been going on for the past five or so months. Um, but, um, spending so much time online can make you less productive, damage relationships, and it is not good for your health. And with that, I am done. (laughs) I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. But I hope that these 50 tips of ways that you can change your life, uh, help you want to change a certain aspect of your life and um that it really makes you think about what it is that you're doing in a day-to-day and if it's basically taking up a lot of the time that you have that you can be basically investing in yourself you know so yes i definitely gotta stop moving my camera around like a freaking potato sack okay so Thank you guys so much for listening. As always, you guys know that um, if you have any question about questions about today's show or if you felt like the show touched you in some kind of way, like not like touched you, but like touched you, you know, <laughs> um, definitely reach out to me um, at peopletalknow at hotmail.com and I would love to hear your feedback or any questions that you may have. And as always, you guys know that, you know, it means a lot to me that you guys listen to my show week in and week out. So as always, you guys know that I like to leave the show with a joke and a word of the day because I like to leave you guys with a little bit of laughter and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of humor and basically a new word to go use and build up your vocab. So, yes. So a friend of mine, um, I'm going to give him a shout out right here so uh day from montebello on ig sent me um also known as david muñoz sent me a joke so finally someone sent me a joke in so i'm excited to use it today so today's joke is drum roll please okay i gotta stop doing that okay How do you make holy water? I'll wait for you guys to answer. No? Okay. You boil the hell out of it. (laughs) Oh my gosh. This, honestly, this was really funny when I read it the first time. It's still funny, but um, it's too early. It's too early for me right now. But maybe you guys are probably laughing. Let's cue the laughter. Um, so yes, thank you, Dave, uh, for Montebello. You guys follow him on IG. Thank you for sending in the joke. And I encourage everyone out there, send your jokes in. I'll go ahead and give you a shout out, share them here. Cause you know, that's what we're here for. Sharing the love, sharing the laughter, you know? So yes, let's go with the word of the day. So today's word of the day is... Deracinate. Deracinate. So deracinate is spelled D-E-R-A-C-I-N-A-T-E. And the meaning of it is uproot. So to remove or separate from a native environment or culture, especially to remove the racial or ethnic characteristics or influences from. Did you know there is a hint about the roots of... How you guys? Deracinate. Deracinate. And its first definition, deracinate, was borrowed into English in the late 16th century from Middle French and can be traced back to the Latin word radix, meaning root. Although deracinate began life referring to literal plant roots, it quickly took on a second 
metaphorical meaning suggesting removal of anyone or anything from native roots or culture. Wow. So there you have it. Let's say it again. Deracinate. Deracinate. So go out and use deracinate in a sentence. I don't really know how the hell I would even put that in a sentence, you would think. I, I mean, I just, no. I don't think I'd rather use that word deracinate, but um, use it in a sentence. Hashtag pe <laughs> people talk now. And uh, yeah, I'll post it up on my IG stories and give you a shout out. Share the love, share the wealth. So yes, you guys, thank you so much for listening. Um, I had a blast today and yeah, you know, as always, you guys, I appreciate you guys listening to me week in and week out. And thank you so much for the love and for the support. And if you're new to this channel and uh, you don't know who I am, my name is Vanessa Herrera and I am the host of People Talk Now. So yes, if you're new, don't forget. And if you like this video, actually, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below and to like and share the video. And yeah, you guys, as always, have a kick-ass Wednesday, okay? Bye. Oh, wait. Bye from me and Tofu. Say bye, Tofu. Oh, and from my water. Bye. <laughs>